Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install ESRI's ArcView 3.3 with the Spatial Analyst extension for use with the Desktop GARP modeling system. Desktop GARP requires ArcView 3.2 with the Spatial Analyst extension in order to write ESRI grid files as the output. You can also write ASCII raster files with GARP models, but when you do, those GARP models, uh, ASCII files, have three values, 0, 1, and 255. When you output ESRI grid files, those values are reduced to only 0 or 1. So installing this will allow you to write out the grid files and save a step in post-processing. The challenge with installing ArcView 3 in a 64-bit system is that you can't simply install the .exe file. Because of this, we provide you with a zip file for installation on either ArcView 7 or later. To complete this process with Windows 10, which is the example I'm using today, I'm first going to move that Esri 7Z file directly onto my desktop. In this example, I'm going to use 7-zip to unzip the file. I'm going to go to 7-zip extract file. and I'm going to extract the file directly to my C drive and I'm going to turn off the, or the uh, checked folder so that I'm just extracting directly to the C drive. In this case I'm going to tell it yes to all because I had done this previously but wanted to make this video. So, a little bit of background on this file while it's unzipping. This Esri file is a directory that was installed on a uh, XP, Windows XP version. And that full install file uh, in the original uh, ArcView 3 installed directly to the C Esri folder. Uh, and that software is actually here under local C, Esri, AVGIS30, ArcView, bin32, and there we can see the application. Now there are two additional steps we have to complete in order to have all the paths in place for this to work properly. In addition to that 7-zip file, we need to do two additional things. First, this fonts folder that you're provided. You need to select all, right click, and install. Now, if you already have ArcGIS or a later version of ArcView installed, you'll probably have many of these fonts already. So you can simply say uh, replace yes or no. I'm going to say no because I already have them installed from my uh, ArcGIS installation. But if you do not have these installed, go ahead and install them all. These will be required for uh, ArcView 3 to be able to make legends. The other thing you'll have to do is copy this common folder, also paste it on the desktop. Now, in my case, for Windows 10, I have to do this step of moving things to the desktop, so I'm moving from a server to my local directory. So this will be uh, depending on your administrative privileges whether you have to move to the desktop or not. In Windows 7 I didn't have to, in Windows 10 I have to. This common folder, once it moves, I'm going to go ahead while I'm waiting, I'm going to go to C, Program Files, x86, Common Files, I'm going to take this Esri folder out of the file I just moved. I'm going to move it into this 
program files x86. And upon completion of this, if I go here to the bin32 directory, select the application, which is a small magnifying glass icon with a globe in it, you'll see that this software launches and we're free to move around the application and start performing tasks. For the desktop GARP modeling that we train people to do in our SEER lab, uh, you will not be required to use ArcView 3 for anything, though it does have uh, some interesting old tools in it uh, and still some very powerful tools that uh, are still useful today. Uh, but QGIS and R uh, through R Studio uh, can be used for, for most all of your spatial analysis applications. But this is required for running Desktop GARP. In the next video, I'll show you how to install Desktop GARP and make sure that Desktop GARP knows how to communicate with the Spatial Analyst extension that's here within ArcView 3 so that it can write out ESRI grid files.